This is a personal story. I wasn't sure if sharing this was a good idea, but at the same time, I can't think of really negative consequences for sharing this. So let's, let's give it a go. I just want to say a disclaimer that this is not a video about how to prevent suicide. It's nothing like that. I'm just sharing my story of what happened to me. So I guess I should explain why I was suicidal. It was because I was in a mixed state. And to back up a bit, I was having a really bad manic episode diagnosed with bipolar disorder type 1. When you're manic, you're not suicidal. And when you're depressed, you might be suicidal, but you have no energy to actually do it to actually kill yourself. So there's a thing called mixed state where you're both manic and depressed at the same time. And that's the most dangerous state because that's when you're depressed and suicidal and you're manic so you have the energy to carry that out. So that's where I was at. In terms of the thoughts that were going in my head, it won't really make sense because I was in such a deluded manic state. But I remember I was watching 21 Jump Street with Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum. And at the time I was believing that pretty much almost everybody rich and famous and successful were people who actually saw through reality like I was starting to see that this world of an illusion was just, well, it's hard to describe, but these successful famous people just saw through the illusion of reality and figured out the code of how everything works. So that's why they were able to break through and succeed, right? And I was on the verge of doing that, but I just didn't get started yet. I just started to see how the world works and then I didn't actually uh, take any steps to succeed. But I had this delusion of, and this is common when you're manic, I'm going to meet all these celebrities and famous people and they already know me because I'm someone special. There were already prophecies about me and they were just waiting for my arrival. All that kind of shit, right? Grandiose delusions, I think, is a, an appropriate term to describe all that category. Anyways, while I was watching 21 Jump Street and I thought they were just giving me many hidden messages straight to me through the movie, I was like, I don't deserve everything that's about to come to me. I don't want to be a part of it. I feel worthless. It's kind of weird describing it now, but in my manic mental state, let's just say that I didn't feel deserving and I felt worthless of all the accolades and praises and good things to come. I just didn't want any part of it. So I left a suicide note. I posted it on Facebook and it's I deleted the post but it said something like I'll be looking down from above have fun without me and I'll be watching you my friends from above so have a good one something like that I can't really remember so I left that Facebook post I grabbed my Swiss Army knife and I headed out and walked into a wooded area so I'm in this forested area I take out my knife by the way this is not the knife that I had a way bigger Swiss Army knife but I think I threw it away at some point anyways so I, I grabbed my bigger Swiss army knife i pulled out the knife and my heart was pounding i mean i was getting really nervous i was thinking i have to cut pretty deep into my wrist and how many times do i have to cut through and will it be enough will i succeed all these thoughts are racing in my head anticipating the pain i guess my body was just screaming at me to not do it and my mind was determined but also worried and the, another little backstory i was hallucinating too so i had this entity i was hallucinating called lucy that deserves a whole video on its own in terms of my hallucinations but she had possessed the left half of my body, maybe not possessed, maybe inhabited, just joined with uh, the left side of my body. So I wasn't even going to slit my left wrist because that was her as well. I'm right-handed and I was going to slit my right wrist. And so I was holding it up to my right wrist. Heart was pounding like crazy. And right at the height when I was like, okay, let's just get it over with. Something drops on my left shoulder. I just freaked the fuck out. I'm like, what the fuck? Something dropped onto the ground. And so I dropped down and I looked carefully at what tapped my shoulder and it was a beetle. And there wasn't only one beetle, there were two beetles. I could tell that there was a bigger female one and a smaller male one. And so I started watching these beetles. The beetle started to climb this small little plant. And at one point, the male beetle connected two branches of the plant so that the female beetle could get across and get to the top through the easy path. So the male beetle connected the branches together. The female beetle rode up that path and got to the top first. 
And then the male beetle went through the harder path of not having someone connect the branch for him, went up the difficult path by himself, which took way longer, and eventually finally got to the top. And the male beetle got on top of the female beetle and they started mating, at which point I was really turned off. I was like, okay, whoever's showing me this, now you're just pissing me off. Anyway, the, the meaning I took away from that was that I was the male beetle and Lucy was the female beetle, and I had to connect the branches together so that she could take an easier path to the top. And my path would be way more difficult, but I would eventually get to the top too after helping her get to the top, and she couldn't do it without me. We'd eventually get to the top together, and I was needed for that. And just a side note, I also had a few words that just popped up to, into my mind. Path of Judas makes no sense whatsoever, but I was just thinking, oh, I have to take the path of Judas. Don't even look it up. It doesn't make any sense, but that's what was just popped up into my mind. It's just a, kind of like a messed up brain, right? So now I have this, this new sense of purpose. Like I'm supposed to help Lucy get to the top and she can't do it without me. My path is way more difficult, but she needs me, so I have to help her. So with that in mind, I was just like zoned out. I'm like, oh, that's my purpose. I can't kill myself right now. And so I just started slowly walking back to my house. And then at one point, a car pulled up right next to me and stopped. And it was my friend Jacob. And he was like, yo, dude, are you okay? And people saw my Facebook post. And then someone called the police. And people were looking for me. And he was... He was driving looking for me, so he drove me back home and, and then my other friends Matt and Brian eventually came over as soon as they could as well. I actually didn't tell them this story until a few years later. It was funny because from their perspective, I left the suicide note and then when they get to my house, I'm just like sitting on the couch watching TV and they were like, what the fuck, you put us through all this emotional turmoil just for nothing? And I should have told them this story earlier, but at, at least I told them a few years later when it popped up again. And Anyway, so after all my delusions and I, I got treatment and I snapped out of mania and I was kind of in a depression, I was thinking that was a divine moment, right? Someone was really looking out for me. But to be honest, that feeling has kind of faded over time. A lot of shit happened after that as well in terms of I had another huge full-blown manic episode from 2018 to 2019. Also tragic things happened with my family. I kind of lost the sense that somebody's really looking out for me. It was immaculate timing. I mean, the beetle dropping right at the height of my commitment of like, let's do this. Let's, let's just get it over and done with. Life is weird, right? Many people die every day in some tragic or sudden manner. And then to think that someone's looking out for me it almost feels like kind of selfish thinking. So I don't really give it too much thought. I guess the reason I'm sharing this story and why I'll probably share more of my bipolar stories, including my hallucinations, is because this is day six of posting a YouTube video, at least one to two every day. And I'm running out of things to talk about. So I was thinking in bed, like, what can I talk about? And I was like, yeah, I could talk about my past, which has a lot of crazy shit um, because of bipolar disorder and mania. I've had a lot of crazy experiences because of mania. So it could be interesting for other people to see. So I think I'll share more. There was a time I escaped from a psych ward and the police were after me. <laughs> There was a time I was like a literal horror movie villain where I just scared the shit out of an old couple in a car. There was a time I got a bloody eye from a security guard in the psych ward. It was all red. There was no white. The left half looked like I was a devil. Anyways, there are a lot of stories, so I'll probably start diving into those in the upcoming videos.